thanks for joining us at ledlightexpert.com. Today we're going to go over corn bulbs. We get a lot of questions about these bulbs. Um, they're extremely popular uh, as an easy replacement for many standard bulbs. Um, so we wanted to go over some basics just to cover a lot of the questions that we're getting. Um, to be frank and forward, there's a reason why they're called corn bulbs. They look just like corn on the cob. You've got LEDs all around the outside. Um, pretty obvious as far as the reason for these bulbs. Now, um, these bulbs come in all different styles, um, ranging from a 12 watt up to a 200 watt, from 2000 lumens to over 24,000 lumens. Um, one thing you really wanna keep in mind when you're working with these corn cob bulbs is that all of us are used to going by wattage when we're thinking about um, how bright a light is. It's time to start thinking about lumens. Lumens is what you're going for. LEDs are so much more efficient. You want to match up lumens so that you're getting the, the same output. Um, you've got ranges from 70% increase in efficiency over a metal halide or HBS, a lot of the HID style lights, up to over 90% with an incandescent light. Um, so you're getting a lot of savings when it comes to energy with the, the corn bulbs and a real easy retrofit um, to go in in place of the old bulbs in your current fixtures. You won't even have to change out the fixtures. Simple screw-in bulb um, and you're set to go. All right, the next thing that we wanted to go over with the corn bulbs is the different styles of corn bulbs. Um, we've got a 360 bulb, a um, little bit more on what you're thinking about with the corn cob but there is different options with directional bolts. Um, directional bolts are gonna point the light where you want it. Uh, 360 bolts a great replacement for any of your standard bulb in a fixture with reflectors. Um, just as an example here, we've got a 360 bulb. You can see the light coming out in every direction, great with reflectors. Um, we've also got a directional bulb here that's 180 degree, lights only pointing to one side. Um, Lots of different applications out there, so we wanted to make sure we, we cover all the different ways that you could retrofit. Um, there's also down lights. Uh, this thing, just like the, the 180 over here, you've got a directional bulb pointing straight down, uh, so you won't need the reflectors. Great for high bay replacements. Um, these directionals, you've got mounting from the side, so depending on what your fixture looks like, um, the different kind of bulbs can work for you. So there's a lot of options depending on what you need. Um, simply put, all you want to do is make sure that you've got enough room to get one of these in and figure out uh, which style is going to work best for your application. All right, now we wanted to go over if you're converting from a, a different kind of bulb to an LED, you might not know which one's gonna be the best replacement. So we're gonna go over a few of the common options here. Um, one of the most common metal halide bulbs out there is a 400 watt. Um, our top seller and replacement for that is the 150 watt. Um, this bulb's gonna be about as bright as that metal halide is about a year after it's been, been going, um, but those metal halides do degrade tremendously over time, um, where the LEDs are not going to degrade anywhere close to the same way. So the 150 is really common for the replacement on those. Um, really comes up to what you're looking for also in your light. There's a 120 watt. Um, this is gonna be a little closer to the end of that metal halide's life, a little bit brighter. So somebody who's used to replacing the bulb right at the end of the light, um, the 120 is going to be a good option to have light about the same there. Uh, some applications you may need a little bit more light. Um, the 200 watt is also another great option to replace that 400. It's going to be brighter. Um, if your application isn't quite bright enough for you and you want it to get a little bit brighter, that 200 watt is a, a great replacement. Um, there's also directional bulbs. We have a 115 watt directional bulb, uh, which depending on the application may be perfect for you as a replacement for that 400 watt. Um, keep in mind the degradation on those, those metal halide bulbs. You're gonna be saving a lot in efficiency with these corn bulbs. 
whether you're going to the higher end 200 watt, you're saving 200 watts, maybe another 50 uh, without the ballast in there. Coming down to a 150, uh, 120, 115, there's a lot of energy savings when you're, you're switching over. Now some other options, a 250 watt metal halide or HPS, uh, you're going to switch down to maybe a 75 or 80 watt bulb, um, depending on which way you're going. A, a 100 watt metal halide, you may come down to about a 40 watt bulb. Um, we have a full range of bulbs to cover whatever size you've got. Um, if you're a little unsure of which way to go and you didn't find the right answer with this video, check out our website, give us a call. Uh, most of our listings do show the conversions and we have some informational uh, pages that will go over the conversions for you for all different sizes, whether it's CFL or metal halide, HPS. Um, like I said, give us a call. We'll be happy to help if you're unsure. All right, one of the last things we wanted to go over here with the bulbs is the different color temperatures. I'm going to turn these on uh, just as an example here. Not sure how well you're going to see this in the video, but this over on this side, uh, we've got a 3000K bulb. Uh, it's a much warmer color. Uh, some people consider it a yellow or brownish, uh, but it's a warmer white color. Uh, on the other side here, we have a 5000 Kelvin uh, bright white. Uh, it's a swap for daylight. Um, turn that off so we can get a little bit more viewing here. Um, the, the AMA does recommend against lights over a 5,000 K, um, AMA as in the American Medical Association. So, uh, we typically recommend away from anything higher than a 5,000 K. Um, 5,000 K is used more commonly outside, uh, larger areas, lots of bright, bright white. The 3,000 is a little bit more common in restaurants, at homes, um, but it still comes down to personal preference. Um, hopefully that gave you a little background into the different colors, and if you have any questions, feel free to give us a call.